for decades, we have been rethinking the way our customers work. The BizHub series was created to help our customers stay at the core of their business. But now, this 15-year-old series needs an upgrade that takes into account new work styles. It was for this reason that the idea of the iSeries was conceived as a successor to the BizHub series. We begin our development process by putting ourselves in our customers' shoes. Our bases around the world survey how today's customers work and how they are going to change their work style, and based on the findings, we decide which way to go through numerous hours of discussion. A new concept is brought to life based on information collected from different countries. We build personas, conduct interviews, and find what lies beneath issues that are present. We explore every idea without rejecting it, however peculiar it may be. Our vision for the new work style is simplicity. In the age of IT utilization, machines with ever more complicated functions, and cutting-edge information technology. What MFPs are expected to do as a hub is to give a user experience that is as simple as possible. Therefore, we reviewed all operation systems that act as the center of all functions, and with a brand new concept, we redefined our customer's workflow. Introducing a touchscreen and new applications, as well as allowing users to quickly use various functions including scanning and printing in a simple manner, became our top priorities. It takes time to build a prototype based on this line of design thinking. It is sometimes through relaxed chatting and at other times through a heated discussion that we share different views and keep going forward through trial and error until we find a novel breakthrough. Drawing a blueprint requires steady efforts. In order to reach a great outcome, we also care about our own work environment. Creating a work-style work environment that allows us to concentrate on finding good ideas is an indispensable part of what we do. Once we have a solid idea, we share it with everyone and accelerate our production process. What matters in the process of building a prototype is to secure good quality and mass production system. Initial prototypes are for testing different ideas. But in order to test the quality of units that will be delivered to our customers and to secure high quality in as many of our units as possible, we build our final prototype in a production line in a production base that uses the same processes as our mass production lines. Our production base is located close to various vendors that supply parts that are necessary for MFP production, making it possible for us to produce what we need quickly, efficiently, and in a focused manner. From sheet metal, which is an essential material in MFP production, to CPU boards that power MFPs, we produce everything in nearby facilities, thereby preventing overstocking and reducing transport time and costs. This allows us to produce high-quality products in a timely manner. Parts and materials that are secured in this way are managed in a centralized fashion in a highly automated warehouse. While this warehouse automatically sends items to our mass production line, it checks its own inventory, and based on it, it ships the right amount of items calculated based on production rate and stocking act helps us grasp the whereabouts of our parts and materials, manage them in an integrated manner, and quantify them. Furthermore, Key parts that require precision are produced in a special production line inside our production base. One such key part is intermediate transfer belt, which we produce in-house using injection molding machines and extruders. These parts directly improve the print quality and durability of our MFPs. Konica Minolta calls this production system digital manufacturing. Digital manufacturing combines IT and automation technologies to automatically recognize the state of our production processes whereabouts of parts and materials, and their management information. It is thanks to the system capable of analyzing our manufacturing and management indicators from various perspectives that we are able to manage our production base in an efficient manner. The new i-series is an embodiment of our pursuit of better specs and high quality, as well as of what these digital technologies can do and the way they innovate our production, making it possible for us to reduce cost and increase efficiency at the same time. However, what truly matters cannot be realized only by pursuing better efficiency. As MFPs are highly advanced precision instruments, producing MFPs requires an automatable or difficult to automate processes, of which there are many. Parts such as scan mirrors, photo recept, and pickup lenses require a production environment that is both complicated and clean. Therefore, their automated production processes are continuously monitored by highly skilled technicians. Touch. Look at and listen to the parts. 
It is thanks to our highly skilled technicians that do this that we are able to create high quality products. To assemble precision instruments, various technologies, ranging from mechanics, electrical system controls, to chemistry, must work in harmony with high precision. Our digital manufacturing system manages and monitors our production lines automatically, which allows us to adjust and maintain appropriate production conditions without human workers' instructions. However, it is our skilled technicians' hands that assemble our final products, which makes Konica Minolta's MFPs distinctively unique. We are a problem-solving digital company. With the help of digital technologies, humans prioritize human needs and solve human issues. This is how we believe our manufacturing should be. It is this process that gives form to our new i-series. Prototypes produced with mass production in sight must now pass stringent tests. We test them thoroughly under various environments and conditions to see if they meet safety standards. Konica Minolt is in-house ISO certified EMC facility has a meter-long radio anechoic chamber, where emission immunity tests are conducted. This test is done to make sure that our MFPs, once switched on, do not emit radio waves that are harmful to our customers. Furthermore, in order to conform to strict regulations of different countries, such as Blue Angel, we have an audio anechoic chamber, where we measure the volume of noise that our products produce. MFPs have complicated moving parts, and their noise may disturb users especially if used in an office space, so we must do everything we can to make them quieter. At Konica Minolta, we measure the noise volume of our MFPs using as many as 19 microphones to see if strict standards are met. This meticulous test is done repeatedly. We design our MFPs so that they function under different climate conditions in the world, from polar climate to tropical climate. We must make sure that our products can deliver consistent quality regardless of temperature and humidity conditions. To do this, our examiners repeat experiments under specific conditions to see if they influence the print quality and other aspects of our MFPs. This test follows check items, some of which require visual inspection. MFPs are precision instruments, but they need to be able to withstand occasional user maneuvers. The ADF and the tray are good examples. We rigorously repeat our durability tests even beyond preset theoretical limits. We want our products to keep performing at their best even when they are used continuously, so that our customers will not have to experience downtime. That is why we created long-lasting parts while designing the new i-series. Needless to say, it is the precision of the parts that gives durability to precision instruments. One sheet of paper is carried inside the body of an MFP by the motion of thousands of synchronized moving parts. Even if just a few of the parts fail to meet designed accuracy, expected print quality cannot be achieved. The proportion of chemicals that make up the parts and their molding accuracy are evaluated using a three-dimensional measuring device that gauges geometrical tolerance including flatness, parallelism, perpendicularity, position, etc. Moreover, we must take into account the fact that our products experience different conditions while they are delivered to our customers worldwide. Some roads are paved while others are unpaved. No matter where our customer's business is located, we must be able to deliver our products to them. Therefore, MFPs must be tested for transport durability in addition to operational reliability. Our tests include simulating the impact of vibrations of a transport vehicle on our MFPs wrapped inside eco-friendly packaging. The unlikely scenario of the package or accessories such as drums being dropped during transport and how it impacts the product. These tests that simulate various conditions are conducted repeatedly to ensure that our products will be delivered with no damage to our customers. It is not just the main body that needs to be mass-produced. We also need to mass-produce printer supplies. Every single supply item is produced using technologies that achieve high efficiency, which reduces the overall production costs. Once your prototype passes all these tests and processes, we finally begin mass production. Konica Minolta regards the i-series as something that revolutionizes the way our customers work, or a box, so to say, a box that contains many of our wishes. Our customers' office issues will be fixed by this product, that will act as a hub to solve their IT issues with the power of digital solution. Its high-precision production and reliable quality will keep empowering the growth of their business. Rethinking the way we work. BizHub.
giving shape to ideas. Konica Minolta.